this is Washington Park in downtown Portland. In 300 meters, turn right on Southwest Sacagawea Boulevard. We're just checking it out to see what is Lift it up. here. Lift it up. right back. We're just, we're just checking it out to see what. Your wrist. Um here basically just because I've never really been to Portland. And we drove right by it on the highway and it looked like I didn't know what the hell is here. I just saw a bunch of road on the side of the on the GPS. So we're just checking it out just to see what's here. It's actually kind of nice. Turn right on Southwest Sacagawea Boulevard. Which way do we go? That way? There's only one way to go? Yeah. It's actually kind of like a, it's like a Stanley Park kind of thing. Yeah, they have a rose garden and Japanese gardens. Oh, and I'll go up here. You want to go that way? That's cool. Oh, there's like houses in here. That's awesome. Wow, pricey. In 300 meters, turn right on yeah. Southwest Rose Garden Way. Pricey, pricey. Pretty though. So nice. Look at that house. Gorgeous. I just want that guy to stop falling. I don't want to do this thing. That's so. Actually, pretty intense. Look at this, like, uh, hairpin turn I'm going to take. Wow. Garden. That's cool. I wish we could stop. But although the roses wouldn't be out yet. No. Nope. So it actually isn't that cool right now. It would be cool in like a couple, month or two. There is a test. Turn left time. on Southwest Droz Garden Way. Uh, you know, you don't you know about, like botany, how they like mix two things together to make a new plant? Nope. No. I didn't take that. I took other sciences. I might be able to see it as we drive by up here, actually. Mm. At least the area. 10 miles, I'm speeding. In 300 meters, turn right on Southwest Droz Garden Boulevard. Dollar 60 per hour, wow. Um, do you want to hey. stop and take a quick look for two seconds? Yeah, sure. So we checked out the rose garden. Obviously no roses yet because it's still February, but it's really pretty. It looks like they have um, a lot of like specific types of roses that you'd find around the world, which is pretty cool. Continuing on on our tour of Washington Park, we have a biker on our right. <laughs> Funny. Sporting an older bike. Yes. Around anyways. Yeah. Bye, Mr. Biker. Or Miss Biker. I don't know. I didn't check the face. He was a he. Hey, Mr. Biker. There's a delay. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's because the exit is on the highway. Oh. And it wants us to go around. So we'll have to go up and then see what's up here and then come back down and go around. But because it looks like we need to go this way anyway, so when does it come down and, and turn past all the traffic we said? We just did that yeah, again. I think that's what we're trying to come back yeah. and go up, go right at that, uh, that crossroad there. Makes sense to me. This is crazy. Stanley Park. 
dark, but like layered. Now that I think of it, because ours is like spread out. This is like yeah, it's got levels.
lot to uh, not a whole lot to report since we last talked. We drove from Portland to Seattle and got dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. I had uh, enchiladas, and Stephen had a burger that he wasn't such a huge fan of. It was uh, uh, a baked like a little puck of macaroni and cheese. And the cheese like drizzle on top of it, but on a burger, you didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, and the burger wasn't really thoroughly cooked tonight. I was, I was a little bit confused because she asked me how I wanted, so I thought maybe it was like a steak or something. And it wasn't. It was burger, so it, it was kind of soft, and I, that kind of that kind of threw me off. And then the whole thing just wasn't really like we we kind of forgot about lunch just for being so busy. So I kind of got there and I had a few bites of it. And I just it wasn't really what I fancied. I just didn't like it. So yeah, that um, was kind of a disappointment for him, but I got him good. He originally was going to try and get them to do the happy birthday thing for me there because Cheesecake Factory is like my dream place for dessert. Um, so I went to use the washroom and they talk, he talked to the waitress to um, see what they would do for a birthday. And I came back and he was like, oh, so you can even get a free dessert. Uh, free Sunday or you can get cheesecake and they'll decorate it for your birthday and all of that and I had the brilliant idea to reverse it and make it be about Steven because his birthday is in two weeks and he probably won't be here for his birthday and nine times out of ten for birthday celebrations it's usually about me it's not about him so I was like you know what this one time it should be about him he deserves to have people sing to him so the sneaky kid that I am first I was like okay I need to obviously talk to the waitress. First, I was like, oh, Stephen, do you need to use the washroom? You can go use the washroom while I figure out what kind of cheesecake I want. I don't have to use the washroom. Uh, I use the washroom. The rest are like an hour before, two hours. Oh, do you, so maybe you need to wash your hands. Is, are they, is your hands sticky? I wash my hands at the restroom. I, I haven't touched anything but the car since, uh, since the restroom. God the damn. Not dirty. How the hell do I get him out of this booth? Um, so basically I just convinced him that I had a surprise of some kind, but that I needed to use his phone because I didn't have data or phone, like I couldn't call anyone or anything like that. I needed his phone to do anything. So I just need, I convinced him that there was some sort of surprise, but I needed his phone to do it and needed him to go away so that I could do whatever it was that I wanted to do with his phone to surprise him with something. Um, so I got him to go, go and use the washroom. Um, and leave me alone with his phone, which I actually didn't really need. I didn't need his phone in the slightest. Um, and I talked to the waitress, and she was worried that he was going to get angry because it wasn't going to be about me after all. It was going to be about him, and that he would be disappointed that it wasn't about, like, that they didn't sing Happy Birthday to me. And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. Oh, I was furious. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hear about it later. So they sang him happy birthday and gave him cake that said happy birthday to you on it. was one of them. She was nice and and rounded up like three others and then a fourth one showed up. I think mostly just to see what was kind of going on because she seemed kind of clueless but uh, she just kind of started singing too so that was really cool. Yeah, it was great. I felt really special. So that was that and then we just drove home. We're now we're in Delta just driving towards the bridge to go home. And that will conclude my day before my birthday vlog yeah. trip to Portland, uh, Seaside, Seattle, Ness, yeah. That's that.